you've tested the oil in your transformer and found really high levels of moisture. What's the big deal? Is a little moisture really that big a problem? Well, it is if enough moisture builds up to allow dielectric flashover between the coils. This will take down your transformer and be really, really costly to repair. More importantly, it's going to mean downtime for whatever critical function that transformer's powering. Maybe even downtime for you if you're the one responsible for keeping it running. The main thing preventing all these bad things from happening is the dielectric paper in the transformer windings. The real problem is that moisture will degrade the quality of the paper permanently and irreparably. So, if testing shows high moisture levels in your transformer oil, you could bring in a rig and process the oil to remove the moisture. The problem with that is that the paper in your transformer holds at least 100 times more moisture than the oil itself. So you dry the oil, but over time the moisture in the paper just seeps right back in. And before long, you have the same really high moisture levels again in your test results. This temporary solution is really no solution at all. What you really need is a way to remove the moisture from the oil and the paper without spending a fortune or taking your transformer offline to do it. An online dryer that you plug in and leave running, unmanned for as long as it takes to completely remove the moisture from the oil and the paper. A solution you can monitor in real time from your desktop. And for that, you need truly intelligent transformer management from SD Myers, because transformers are our thing. Need more info? IntelligentTransformerManagement.com.